We got a few tags just for vinyl records, and they're awesome. And you know why they're awesome? Why are they awesome? Because I'm feeling jazzy. Ooh, jazzy. I got some Duke Ellington fun facts. You got jazz hands? Jazz hands. Ah. Uh. Jazz fingers. Jazz fingers. Jazz fingers. But yeah, I got Duke Ellington, nice. so I learned some awesome stuff about the Duke. The Duke. The Duke. His given name was Edward Kennedy Ellington. Oh, okay. But his mother surrounded him with genteel, elegant ladies. So due to his manners okay. and his dapper dress, he was nicknamed Duke. Duke. Okay. That works. You know, which is, you know, mm -hmm. a little, little better for, you know, a big band leader than, sure. than yeah. Edward, you know, because it's, it's powerful. It's powerful, yeah. It's yeah. powerful. So he was born in 1899 in... Washington, D.C., nice. and he started having piano lessons when he was seven. Seven? Seven. Wow. But he didn't really get into the piano lessons and take it seriously until after he turned 14. Okay. Because when he was 14, he would sneak into a pool hall. Ah, okay. And listening to the piano player at the pool hall made him, like, realize how cool music mm -hmm. could be. Oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah. So this one ended up in the box a little bit early. <laughs> Ellington at Newport. He was at the Newport Jazz Festival, Jazz Festival in 1956. Oh, wow. And the recordings from there made his best-selling album of his career. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because he was live. He was live. He was live. He was live. <laughs> and he conducted his band, not with a baton, because most of the orchestra conductors right. used a baton. Mm -hmm. He used piano cues and visual gestures. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So he was a little different. Yeah, okay, nothing wrong with that. Nope, not at all. And we've got Duke Ellington, New Orleans Suite. So he played at the Cotton Club. And he okay, was famous yeah. for playing at the Cotton Club in Harlem. Now, there was like an Elvis moment for him. Oh, okay. Because King Oliver was offered the spot as a, you know, as like the house band. Uh -huh. And he said no. He said no. He said no. Mm. And then someone else suggested that Duke Ellington and his orchestra try out. And uh -huh. he got it. But he had to go from a six-piece band to an 11-piece band. Oh, wow. There's a big difference yeah. there. Yeah, because that's, that's what you had to do yeah. to play at the Cotton Club. Right. You needed the big band. You needed, you needed a big band yep. to be a big band. Yes. Well, they didn't have the amplification like they have nowadays, so you needed a big band. Oh, look, I got another one at Newport. And it was live, it was live! Nice. <laughs> oh, great times with Duke Ellington. Because he was really cool. He did a lot of stuff. He performed for 60, he was active for 60 years. 60 years. 60 wow. years, which is really cool. It is. In um, 1974 was when he passed. And he was 75 years old. It was a couple weeks after his birthday, and he performed his last full concert two months prior. Wow. Yeah. And unfortunately, he died from complications from lung cancer and pneumonia. Yeah. Okay. And he was posthumously awarded a Pulitzer Prize, a special Pulitzer for music. Oh, really? I didn't know in that. In 1999. Really? Because it would have been his 100th birthday. In 19, it was okay. the centennial of his birth. Okay. So, you know, he was really cool. He did a lot of stuff for jazz. He introduced so many artists. He didn't even consider himself a jazz musician. Oh, he didn't? He considered himself an American musician. He played American Amer music. Okay. And he recorded with the majority of the record labels that were around at his time because he's written so many compositions. It's incredible. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. That is cool, yeah. like awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I was really excited. So we've got some more Just Price Final Records, and they're jazz. So mm. we've got Vince Gorelli is sealed, nice. and Six Hooper is sealed. Uh, Modern Jazz Quartet, still sealed. Nice. Dave Rusin and Lee Rittner is still sealed. And look, it's a face, so they're suffocating. <laughs> they're suffocating. <laughs> they're suffocating. Suffocating. They're suffocating. Let them Ooh, out. We got Nina Simone, and she sings Ellington. Nice. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Dave Brubeck Quartet, and more Dave Brubeck. And another one is Greatest Hits. And we've got John Coltrane and Miles Davis. And guess what? He's live! He's live at the Fillmore, but it doesn't say if it's east or west. Oh, wow, really? It's just at the Fillmore. 
some have more. Have to fill more. Well, well. And we've got another Miles Davis, kind of blue. This one's reissue. Johnny Hammond. Uh, the Tony Williams Lifetime Emergency. Freddie Robbins. And then we've got Frank Sinatra. And guess what? He was live. He was live at the Sands. At the Sands. At the Sands. Isn't that awesome? With Count Basie With and Count his Basie. orchestra. And then we've got another Frank Sinatra. And we've got Don Ellis. This one's pretty cool. Oh. Soaring. More Don Ellis and another Don Ellis. And one more. Oh, one more. And guess what? He's at the Fillmore. At He's the Fillmore. Not, but I don't Fillmore. East, West. Hmm. Come on. A lot of man. action at one of the Fillmores. Yeah, there must have been. West Montgomery. And another one. Jimmy McGriff. The Mashu Vishnu Orchestra. That sounds right. And did you think that's right? Sounded I, good to I, me. I, I still got the Mashu Vishnu. Mashu Vishnu. John McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got this one, but it's still got John McLaughlin. That, that's Miroslav. Miroslav Vitas, but it's got John McLaughlin too. Okay. Oh, the Bagpipe Blues. Interesting. It's, it's not blues. It's soul jazz. I was going to say, how do you make blues out of bagpipes? Yeah, that's, it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be it'd interesting be, to hear. I'd cool. like to hear that. Yeah, but that's Rufus Harley. Rufus Harley. I thought that was pretty awesome. Herbie Mann. We got another Herbie Mann. And one more. Chick Corea. Oh, and this one is an import. Oh, nice. And we've got more Chick Corea and another one. And then we've got Sarah Vaughn. Um, Tour de Force. Paul Blay. Chico Hamilton. Buddy Rich, Modern Jazz Quartet. These ones aren't sealed. Not too bad. <laughs> Ramsey Lewis, Paul Desmond. Ooh, Bourbon Street Beat, Brian Lee, and Jump Street Five. Jump Street Five. Yeah, this one kind of looks like different. Yeah, it does. It almost looks like it was recorded. Yeah. You know, self-recorded. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got Eddie Jefferson, and he was live. Stefan Grappelli and another one, The Crusaders, Stan Getz, Pat Marie Martino, Bob James, and more Bob James. Ooh, we got two, and then we got three. Three. Four? Nope. nope. Charles Lloyd Quint Quartet. But Quartet's four, right? Yeah. Right? The quintet's five, so yeah, quartet's Yeah, Quartet's four. I had to yeah, think there yeah. for a second. So, I mean, they're different people, but we got two. Two, three, and, and four. Three and four, yeah! Then we got Dexter <laughs> Gordon, and... Um, <laughs> Ravi Shankar with Yehedi Menuhin. Menuhin? Uh, I don't know. It's Shankar. Modern. It's modern jazz. I, I got Ravi Shankar. <laughs> <laughs> Heath Brothers, Coleman Hawkins, Betty Carter, um, Claude Bowling Trio, Diodato, Stanley Clark, and another Stanley Clark, and more Stanley Clark, and then we've got John McLaughlin. And Nat King Cole, and another Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole at the Sands, so you know what that means? He was live! He was live! Live! Nat King Cole, Chuck, I'm not saying it, <laughs> Bill Evans, uh, Louis Jordan, Wynton Marsalis, and another one. Then we got Benny Goodman, Danny King, Danny Louis K. Armstrong, and then we got the Mills Brothers. The Mills They're Brothers. greatest hits. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So nice collection there. We need a poll. We need a poll. How do you think I did? I think you did good. Yeah, do you think I did good with my Duke Ellington fun fact? Yeah, yeah. He's got a really big Wikipedia page. I bet he does. On him. I think just because he had such a... <laughs> well, he was around for... Yeah. You know, but he was really, really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I think you did good. Let's pick out a different jazz record. Okay. Okay. Jazz, huh? It's on this side. Yeah. In, in case I forgot, huh? Let me uh, go down here. I'll start at this end. How's that sound? Okay. Uh, Someone's dinging me here. Hmm. All right, I think I got one. Uh-oh. I don't think they saw it. No, you don't think they, they caught me? No. No? <laughs> so I picked Roy Ayers. Oh, Roy Ayers. Hmm. That looks interesting. And what'd you pick? 
The Yellow Jackets. I haven't listened to those in a long time. Oh, wow. To... Okay, cool. So I'm like, I can't even look. I'm just trying to make sure it's the right way. So now there's <laughs> going to be a little eye on top of that screen. Click that sucker and vote for my Roy Ayers or for his Yellow Jackets, which doesn't really sound like a jazz band. Are you sure it is. Jazz? Yes, it okay, is. Okay, you promise? I promise. Okay. So now you gotta leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite record in this box is because we have some really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And you gotta head over to our eBay store, Spin Me Around store, because no matter where you are in the world, you can get yourself a Spin Me Around t-shirt and we put up a whole bunch of really awesome um, cassette auctions. And oh, cool. then you have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring that bell, ding, 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 because we do a video like this every night and we see you tomorrow. And I'm waiting for you to smack yourself in the face with the, with the camera. <laughs> Because you pull it all back like this, and I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna like break his own nose. Nah, I know where my face that is. That would be so funny if you broke your own nose of blood spurting. If you're spurting over the camera. Over the camera. Oh. <laughs> well, like, no, no, it's ketchup. It's ketchup. It's ketchup. He, he fit into a burger. It's just cornstarch and some dye.